hello student today we'll cover the topic memory management that is the fourth unit of your syllabus operating system before going through memory management have a look on what do you mean by memory management memory management is the process of controlling and coordinating the memory of computer right assigning portions which we call the blocks to the various running program to optimize the overall performance of the system finally we always always learn that the main motto of operating system is to uh, uh, is to maximize the efficiency of your of the computer right so the topics today will be covering is the logical and the physical address swapping and the classification of memory management in the classification we'll cover the base machine and the resident monitor so start with the logical and the physical address logical address logical address is the address that is generated by the cpu and when and when this uh, when will the cpu generate the address when the program is in the running mode we can say actually it is the virtual address as it does not exist physically therefore we can call it the virtual address also and what do you mean by physical address physical address is the address created with the help of the logical address it is required uh, physical location in the memory so this can be clear from the diagram in this cpu is here cpu generates the logical address we already learned let the logical address is 346 okay and we have a mmu mmu is the memory management unit we have a relocation register in which we have the value that is the 14000 so how will we calculate this physical address that is the logical address plus the value of relocation is the total physical address so you can see from here this 14 P forty six is calculated by adding the logical address as well as the value of relocation register. So this is clear from the diagram. The logical address is the address that is wholly generated by the CPU, and the physical address, which is resides in the memory, is to be calculated with the help of a logical address. That is the value of logical address. plus the value of relocation register we have this is all about the logical address and the physical address next next is the swapping swap what do you mean by swap we can say uh, the uh, mechanism in which we can interchange anything right so if we are talking about the memory mechanism so what is this swapping swapping is the mechanism in which the process can be swapped out that is of temporary right from the main memory and we can move it to the secondary storage or we can say the disk as and when required this can be clear from the diagram just a minute in this diagram you can see we have a main memory here the user space is there so if here there is a process named as p1 after the execution of this process this particular process is swapped out from the main memory and getting into the packing storage that is known as the swap out and when we want to execute any particular process like if we want to execute this process p2 at that time we can 
swap in this process p2 into the memory this is known as the swap in and the overall process overall process of this swap in and swap out is known as swap out and swapping is known as the swapping of any particular process okay swapping is done according to the priority of process okay we can say swap in as in roll in also and swap in swap out as a roll out also okay this is done according to the priority assigned to each and every processes after swapping comes the classification of memory management classification of memory management so memory management is classified into two type that is the contiguous memory allocation and non contiguous memory allocation contiguous means if we have a memory in a continuous manner contiguous is a synonym of continuous non contiguous means if we have a memory in non continuous manner then how the memory management work okay so in contiguous memory allocation it is basically of three type that is the bare machine resident monitor and multi programming again multi programming is the area we are talking when we are talking about the multiple process to execute uh, and at that time how the memory management works so it is of two type that is fixed partition and the variable partition in non contiguous memory allocation it is of three type that is paging segmentation and paging with segmentation okay so today we'll cover the bare machine and the resident monitor bare machine bare machine bare machine is a kind of memory management we can say that requires no memory management because it does not contain any os right it does not contain any os and without os we don't have any feature so this provide the maximum flexibility to the user and the minimum hardware cost but there is a no special memory hardware and no need of any operating system okay this is the bare machine you can say bare machine is a type of memory management which is in which the program or the process get executed without the use of operating system okay next is the resident monitor resident monitor is a second type of memory management technique or the uh, we can say second type of contiguous memory management uh, skill which runs on the bare machine or we can say the resident monitor is also a job sequencer it act like an operating system okay we can say it is like an operating system in which the sequence of jobs sent to the processor for the execution and after these jobs are scheduled the resident monitor loads the program one by one in the main memory accordingly to their sequence and executes the process okay we can say a resident monitor runs on the bare machine it uh, acts like a job sequencer okay like just like the operating system like the operating system manages the multiple uh, execution of the process similarly resident monitor will provide the uh, scheduling of processes it uh, loads the program one by one into the main memory according to the sequence or we can say the main way to protect the operating system itself is to put the operating system into the rom rom that is the read only memory so thus it is the hardware protected okay the operating system unfortunately still needs some ram memory for 
its own operations and this is unprotected from access or modification by any running program so device addresses are not protected either so in this environment it is impossible to protect processes from the other processes right so we'll require the resident monitor memory management that's all for today thank you